Tensions between Israelis and Palestinians fueled by a new surge in violence. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken arrives in Jerusalem this morning and foreign correspondent James Longman is on the scene. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, George. We are right outside the synagogue where that terror attack played out Friday night, and we are hearing extraordinary stories of bravery. There was a couple nearby having Shabbat dinner, Friday night dinner, when they heard the gunfire. They rushed out. The man tried to take on the shooter. He was killed. His wife tried to help one of the victims. She was shot and later died as well. Anthony Blinken's visit here comes at a very delicate time. This morning, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken arriving in Jerusalem. With tensions in the region escalating, Iranian state TV has blamed Israel for a drone attack inside Iran that struck a munitions factory. And this morning, the Jerusalem Post is reporting that Israel carried out the strike using three drones near the central city of Isfahan, which is home to a large air base and several nuclear sites. Apparently, an attempt to contain Iran's nuclear program. Officials in Iran have called it cowardly. But the growing violence here will be top of the agenda. Secretary Blinken will meet Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, as well as Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. Friday, a 21-year-old Palestinian man opened fire on worshippers leaving a synagogue in East Jerusalem. He killed seven and wounded three others. Israeli security forces have sealed off the home of the shooter. It's expected to be demolished soon. Netanyahu saying, we are not seeking escalation, but we are prepared for any scenario. The Israeli government has now increased gun permits for licensed civilians. A day before the shooting, Israeli troops led a raid in Jenin that killed nine Palestinians. It's considered to be the deadliest in years. Gaza militants fired rockets towards Israel in response, and that triggered a series of Israeli airstrikes on Hamas. The context of all this is the recent election of the most right-wing government in this country's history and the weakening legitimacy of the Palestinian Authority. It's a dangerous combination. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.